Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with SFTP command in Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is SFTP command and its use cases. So SFTP means safe file transfer protocol, or sometimes it is also known as secure file transfer protocol, is a part of SSH protocol designed to securely transfer files between remote systems. It allows user to view, manage, and change the files and directory permission on the remote system. So SFTP runs over SSH protocol on standard port 22 by default to the established secure connection. SFTP has been integrated into many graphical user interface tool, GUI tool like FileZilla, WinSCP, FireFTP, etc. So let's begin the lab session and we'll see how we can use SFTP command in different manner in Linux. As you can see, this is my VMware workstation and currently I am I have a two Linux virtual machine. This is RH Online server or this is the RH Online client, right? Okay. So uh, currently I'm in my first machine and let me clear the screen. And uh, first of all, I will show you the OS release version of this machine, right? Yeah, this is Red Hat release, this is 9.2. And if I talk about host name, this is server.example.com. The IP address of this machine is 192.168.1. Let's check the same on the second machine. Yeah, this is release 9.2. Host name, station1.example.com. And the IP address is 192.0.2. So that is 1, 192.0.1, and this is 2. Okay. Now, uh, here on, on second machine, I will configure second machine as a FTP server and will take the SFTP session from my first machine. From here, I will take the session, right? And I will configure this machine as a FTP remote session. So now let's start with the first tab, which is make a user and enable the remote SFTP session. So I'm here. I'm on my second machine. So before taking the SSH session, we need to, uh, to check whether open access package should be available on remote machine or not, and service data should be in running and enable condition. So we can go through with the following command like RPM query open SSH. So you can see that by default, non is installed in RAN machine, but due to any reason, if it is not installed, we can go with the DNF command line tool to install open SSH package. Command is DNF install open SSH. It's simple, right? So just press enter to install. So let's check the service status first. Command is system CTL status SSHD. So you can see currently it is active running as well as is enabled also. Perfect. So uh, by default, it's enabled active and running. Let me create one normal user named demo with a from normal password. So I'll just make a user add command to create a user, user add demo and set the password with password D command. I said one, two, one, two. Okay, now let me move to the ID command and verify demo user successfully created. So here we have created demo user. Now let's open the session for demo user and make some directory with data files so that we can easily download and upload the files from the second machine. So let me open the session with dem su command. I set switch user to the demo user home directory. So currently I'm in my home demo. Let me make a directory name could be anything. I'll go with data, move to data directory. Let me make uh, some blank files. Touch, say file one, file two. Okay, back on the home location. And let me create a comma b comma c, sorry. A, a comma b comma c dot txt. Okay. That's not right. Let me remove this entry. Created with dot abc dot txt. Yeah. So here you can see I have uh, some uh, directory which is known as data and a few more files inside data. I have a file file one or file two as well as we have a dot txt, b dot txt, and c dot txt. Right. So now start with the first point: how to create to connect a FTP remote session of demo user. So for that one, I'm going to switch back on my first machine. And from there, we will start FTP command for demo user, right? So I'm back on my first machine, server one. And here, the command would be SFTP, the username is demo, at the red IP address or machine name. It could be anything. So I'll go with the IP address. Press enter your password when it's prompt. Use password one, two. 
and yeah if everything is okay if the connection is successful the shell moves to the sftp interface indicated by sftp greater than symbol right in place of current username right so now i'm able to log in and i has sftp interface once you are in the sftp prompt check the available command by typing question mark or help at the command prompt so these are the some commands line tool which can, we can use inside the sftp so for local uh, if you want to run some local command use exclusive from the group right okay let's check present working directory so we have a uh, pwd command and lpwd command lpwd remote working directory and local working directory so the command lpwd is used to check local present working directory where the pwd command is used to check remote working directory similarly we can list the file local as well as remote so local here and can run ls command so a.txt b.txt c.txt in the data files are there this is on slash home slash demo even i can use lls locally file system so here we can see anaconda and see navigator download documents these are the files available in my local drive so let me try to confirm i open new tab and here you can see i have these local files right on root address server okay i'm back on my sftp prompt so now let's start transfer the file so let me make some data file on local machine first so i can i can use the simply command here to create a data files or what i can do from sftp prompt i can also create a data file on my local machine so exclamation first touch t o t u c h touch say linux 1.txt linux 2.txt simple so if I go with LLS, you can see I have created two more uh, local files, L1.txt, L2, LLX2.txt is successfully created on my local machine. Let's upload one or multiple file or entire directory using the SFTP command. So if you want to upload a put command, right? So how to upload? We can go with put, say put anaconda case.cfg. I want to upload the single file same command similarly i can go with put uh go with the star.txt star.txt means all the file belong to the .txt that means linux 1.txt 2.txt okay see you can see this is uploaded from here to the home demo the user home directory of demo user and suppose if you want to put the entire directory then we have a put minus r flag or hyphen r flag and the directory will put it so it's also uploaded to the uh, demo user home directory so now move to the second machine and check the files and directory are successfully uploaded or not so i'll go back on here and here i am i run the ls command so you can see linux 1.txt linux 2.txt as well as project successfully uploaded right similarly we can use the get command on the other hand we can use the get command transfer the files from remote server to the local system home directory so now I am back one more time here. If I run the ls command, these are the a.txt, b.txt, c.txt, some files and data directory are there. Let it be download. So I can use for multiple, I can use mget command star.txt. It will be downloaded all the files. Okay, now so it's downloaded. Similarly, I can use get hyphen r to upload the file, right? So download, we will use get to upload, we will use put. Now the files and directory are successfully downloaded in local machine. So either you can open new tab or you can run ls command here you will see the data directory and the files or what i can do i can use lls to check if it's actually downloaded or not let's move to the other point which is sftp with single commands additional to the interactive mode sftp can be used with single command let me show you how to download and upload the files without previous connection to the interactive mode so if you want to exit from there just use exclamation symbol or you can say buy or you can say exist right so i quit from there i'm back on the root address or one so uh let me go with sftp demo at the 192 168.u.2 and call in data directory inside data we have a file file one and i want to download in camp location so let's press enter give the password one two and now if i check the temp here's the file file one so in this example we download the files name file one dot txt or oh, sorry file one only uh, in the remote data directory set data sub directory to the local camp sub directory right similarly we can use hyphen r flag to download the entire directory 
So I can use only SFTP, hyphen R, demo, and just only data. That's it. Press enter. Okay. So now if I go back time, here you will see the data direct is there, right? So data direct is successfully downloaded. In the same manner, what we can do, we can upload files by executing single command with SFTP. So at that in this case, what we need to do, we will go back on SFTP demo at the rate IP address of the machine, the location where we want to upload the file. I want to upload inside data. And for uploading, we will use one, two, three, and dollar. This is the input redaction. Say put and the string, what I said star.txt. That's it. Now this one. So if I think everything is okay, let's see. Uh, with the password one two perfect so in this example the local files with dot txt extension is uploaded to the remote data directory let's check on the demo user account so if i go back here earlier in data we have uh, only file one file two now see here we have uh, a dot txt b dot txt and all of the files those are belong to dot txt extension so in this example uh, all the files are successfully uploaded right in the same manner, what we can use, we can upload the entire directory with using hyphen R plus. So here we have a music folder. Suppose I want to upload this entire music folder. What I will use, I will use put what? Music, M-U-S-I-C, music. Where you want to upload? I want to upload demo user data directory. Password one, two, gone. Let's see. I'm back here again with data. Here's the music folder, right? So this is how we can transfer the file uh, and directory using the SFTP command. So for more information, we can take references from the manual section. We can go with man, SFTP, and manuals are there. You can use and go with these options, right? So uh, finally, we are in the conclusion. SFTP is a very useful tool to share the files between devices and offers two simple modes. So SFTP protocol can be installed on every operating system and offering security, reliability, and speed. So finally, guys, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something is, please reach out to me through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and Goodbye.